In this video, what we're going to do is we're going to look at the best add-ons for Firefox Quantum. And I'm going to lay out a lot of different add-ons there. You shouldn't use all of these. You should pick the ones you think are the best. I don't use all of them. I use about half of them. Be sure to watch all the way to the end to make sure you don't miss your favorite. You never know what it might be. And thanks to the community for submitting a few. You guys are awesome. When doing web design, I like to recommend Firefox. And when you need a website, I direct people over to Squarespace. It's a really clean and elegant way to make a web page that doesn't look like my first web page. You can grab a domain name, anything you like. And they have a lot of different options to choose from. After that, you can come and pick out your template. You can look at several different examples. If you need a store, they can do that here. They have ShipStation integrated for easy shipping. They have all the credit card stuff set up. So the only thing you have to do is get your products uploaded. So let's preview this one, shall we? You can see what it is. You can start with this one, test it out. You can add new elements and also up here in the top you can check out how it's going to look uh, on different devices. If you want to get very nerdy you can get under the hood with Git Access. whole idea here is that the content is what matters. You can really create a website that's driven specifically by your content. Now, if you guys want to move over from say another domain provider or another hosting company like GoDaddy it's really easy. Their DNS tools are quite nice. All right now you can get 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. Just go to squarespace.com slash tech syndicate. And be sure to say thanks to Squarespace in the comments for sponsoring this video. Uh, now this video is not about why Firefox or Chrome are better than one or the other. And the first thing I love to install is Firefox multiple account containers. It's by Mozilla. This allows you to come in and customize several different containers. You can name them whatever you like, give them an icon and, and color. Big time stuff with a, a fat dollar sign. Swordslinger, since we're working on Swordslinger right now. You guys get the idea, right? We can set up certain tabs to always open in certain things. But right now I'm just going to click this and show what it does. It'll create a new Swordslinger tab. There we are. And see how that's colored to match, you know, Swordslinger there. So if you open a tab from here, it'll spawn as a new tab with the same container. This is really handy and it's a good way to organize things. And if I want to go to, uh, you know, open up Twitter in a new container here, I'll open it up in a Swordslinger container. There we go. Now Twitter is not logged in over here. So I can actually have another account just separated by the containers, making my life very easy. Next up, I usually install Stylus. Stylus is the program that allows you to change the style of many different websites out there. So BC Gamer is, is bright and, and light and everything. I've already got my Twitter nice and dark, but you know, I think I want to do a little bit more with that. If you go to manage, you can actually export and import styles. So I've got a whole bunch of styles from home. You can import them all right now. There we go. There we go now. We can go back and take a look at these. Hey, it imported my backgrounds and everything. So that's cool. PC Gamer. Got a nice dark theme for that. You can throw a background on there if you want to. It's up to you, but there's a lot you can do uh, with Stylus. I'll show you what my Google looks like. I will make this available if you guys want it. There's my Google. Search for something. Uh, let's search for... Um, I will make my uh, presets available so you guys can just download and import those straight into Stylus if you like. Now there's a couple just ease of life things. On Google, you don't have the ability to click right click and do view image anymore because Google's stupid. After you add view image, you can just right click and view image again. Now if you're moving over from Chrome, you may miss the, uh, the little pop up at the bottom while you're downloading stuff. I don't really care about that because you can always hit control J and see all your downloads. But if you want the pop up on the bottom that says Hey, look, you've downloaded something. You want the WX download status bar. Netflix by default plays at 720p on, on Firefox. What the hell? So you need to add this until they fix that. That's just the Force 1080p. So Honey's pretty cool because as you're browsing around the web, you may or may not know of a website called Retail Me Not where it'll look for coupon codes and that sort of thing. Honey does that on the fly. While you're on websites, it looks for coupons that can save you, you know, 10, 15, 20 bucks pretty cool. All right, let's talk about some security stuff. LastPass is my password manager of choice for multiple different reasons. It is really easy to use and if I wanted to grant someone like a one-time access to the account, I can generate something where they can just log in without actually having to use my password. Reader is another ease of life thing. Uh, what this does is it allows you to toggle web pages to make them easy to read and remove the distractions. And you can even customize this. I'm not installing it right now on mine, but you can customize this. You can customize the colors and the fonts as long as you have it on your system, so you're good to go. All right, next up, HTTPS everywhere. Just install it. This just makes sure you're always uh, logging on with HTTPS. AdGuard is my ad blocker of choice, and that's for multiple different reasons. Also, because I use the desktop application, which works in tandem with this, but the desktop application will go farther and let you block ads in other programs like Steam and other clients and, you know, whatever, uh, whatever other clients you're running. You block, to be fair, is about the same speed, if not a slight bit faster, if you're only, you know, trying to block ads inside your browser. Ad Nauseam is an interesting uh, plugin that was recommended by someone on Twitter. It essentially confuses people who are trying to track you around the internet by 
just forcing you to click all kinds of things in the background. It, it floods their feed with all kinds of false information, making all their information they gather on you completely irrelevant. The other option is Privacy Possum. You saw Privacy Badger before. Privacy Possum goes even farther than that by blocking cookies that follow you around on the internet. So as you can see here, it'll just tell you like what it's blocking. And sometimes trackers will follow you as you go from multiple sites. So this one, after you've it's followed you for a couple of sites, it'll just block it. Now, Umatrix is something that works in tandem with some of your privacy, uh, firewall, I guess, tools, and also your ad blocker, but it'll allow you to granularly go in and tell it what you are and are not allowed to access. This is not one that I'm currently using, but I might start blacklisting some stuff and playing around with it. Colorzilla will essentially allow you to click anywhere on a page and pick a color. So if you're like, oh, I like that color, Right up here on the top, you can see color copied. As you're hovering over stuff, it's showing you all the details, the RGB, uh, the hex number for that color, everything. All right, more productivity, copy plain text. This is something that's pretty handy sometimes if you're trying to copy a bunch of formatted text like this and you don't want to get all the formatting. You can add this one, it'll allow you to uh, just copy as plain text. Wikiwand is a better way to view Wikipedia, in my opinion. I'll show you what it looks like real quick. So Wikiwand page organizes things very nicely and gives you a, a, an easy to follow table of contents over here on the left. There we go, scroll down to video games. Okay, impulse blocker is something that, I mean, you should do this naturally, right? But we don't. So if you need to toggle impulse blocker to block several sites that waste a lot of your time while you're trying to get work done. Pretty cool add-on for that. And you can toggle it on and off right up here on the top. But just that extra step of having to go up here and toggle it on and off is sometimes all you need to be like, yeah, I should really be getting my work done. Resurrect Pages is really cool. If you ever tried to go to a website and then discover that it's gone, it's no longer there, they took it down, they destroyed it. Well, with Resurrect Pages, what it'll do is it'll go look through Google Cache, the Internet Archive website, uh, and archive.is, and it will find cached versions of these pages and bring them up so you can look at them. I mean, you can do this on your own by going to, like, the Internet Archive or something like that, but it's nice to be able to, like, bring stuff up that's no longer there. Read aloud, just if you want to sit back and let Firefox read to you. I don't use this one, but maybe you'll like it. This is another one I don't use, but if you're someone who is constantly doing some research, it can really be a handy uh, add-on. This is Unpaywall. Now, a lot of times you'll go to different websites and they'll have, you know, like just educational papers and stuff hidden behind paywalls. Scholarly articles are typically free and there are databases and databases of this stuff. So this will help you access those databases and help you access uh, versions of those, you know, articles, papers, whatever, uh, without having to deal with the stupid paywall. All right, let's take a look at a couple from the uh, audience here. That's a lot of add-ons, a lot of plugins. So thanks very much. There it is, Stephen M for the Force 1080p. Dark mode is something that uh, a lot of people will want to install if you want to get a high contrast version of a page with a single click of a button. That's pretty cool. Uh, I didn't cover any video downloaders because YouTube gets really freaking ridiculously angry about that kind of stuff, so didn't cover those. Less add-on. Yeah, I guess the fewer is fewer is nice. Took some of these down here. No YouTube comments. Hey, there you go. If you're somebody who uh, is sick and tired of reading YouTube comments and you know that they do not add to the content, go ahead and install this and watch how much better and happier your life is. Last but not least, here is what we use to organize everything. And this is what I'm going to use. I'm just going to show you what it does right now. One tab. Click the one tab button. Hey, everything just got put into one nice tab. You know, if I did this multiple times, there'll be several different sessions below here with all the other one tab instances. Now check this out. You can share this as a web page. All right, so after that, it generates a URL that you can share. So this is what we used to, you know, for our show. There's a QR code you can scan, pretty handy. And then this, I'm just gonna copy this and throw it on the website and that'll be our uh, the content for our article right here. Something I use daily. All right, so that's it. Those are the ones uh, that I think are pretty good. Let us know what you think in the comments. If you have one that we've missed or maybe this is a few months down the road and there's a new one out, feel free to leave a comment here uh, in, the, in the comments. That's where you put comments, right? No, you put them on our website. Head over to the forums at Tech Syndicate and throw your suggestions there. Uh, we'll hop in and say thank you and maybe we can share the knowledge with everybody. Firefox people, you guys are cool. Grab a t-shirt, get one of these mice. They're obviously durable. 3360 sensor in there, be careful. And while you're at it, why don't you go into these? Everybody needs another controller. Works just like an Xbox controller. Shows up as a X input in your, in your computer. And it's wireless. Use these all day long to play whatever emulators and stuff. We'll see you guys in the comments.